Hello folks, we're going to talk today about the Heatmore water stove, good product. Heatmore uh, water stove, it's been in place here since uh, 2012 and, uh, and problems we've been having with it. Um, Heatmore makes a good product. This is a Heatmore 200 series. And if you own one of these, you probably have experienced some of these problems. Have you ever had your heat more, when you went out to refuel it, found that all the power was turned off of it? Uh, lights didn't work, no power, no fan, no anything. That's due to the over temp hydrostat uh, being tripped because the stove has overheated. Um, if you've ever been out and seen that you were significantly low on water, or if you've ever been out and seen where your stove was boiled over uh, and lost a lot of water, maybe you've seen it steam and erupt like a geyser. All those are indications of a problem that occurs in the heat mores. And if you contact heat more about it, they will uh, explain that uh, it probably comes from the one moving part in a heat more stove and this one moving part can cause a lot of problems and this moving part is the flipper or flapper you'll hear it called different names in different documentation but the flipper or flapper is a small metal baffle that falls down when the fan is turned off uh, the fan, of course, blows and blows air up under the firebox, up under the fire to, uh, to, to engage the coals and to heat up the water in the stove. But if the flipper or flapper doesn't fall back down all the way and remains open, uh, even for a little bit, sporadically, it's going to allow air into the firebox and the fire will, the firebox will continue to heat. The stove will continue to heat until it, it gets into a overheat situation and when you get an overheat situation you've got not a heat more but you've got a heat no more situation that's the problem that we've had with these you get into a heat no more because the stove is in an actual over temp and overheat situation and uh, of course no one wants to drive their stove into overheat but you definitely get into a situation where the stove is just so hot it turns all the power off as a safety precaution due to the fact that the flipper or flapper has remained open for some reason allowing combustion air to enter the firebox and continue to burn beyond the point at which the uh, normal regulatory hydrostat would tell the fan to stop. So for about uh, two months we had a retrofit on this particular Heatmore 200 series and I want to just demonstrate what we have here. Normally there's a baffle and a cover here across the top and a cover across the bottom. We have those removed. And normally this is the place where the fan would mount. We've removed the fan and put plastic here so that we can stop the airflow. Uh, since we do have fire in the stove, we don't want the stove to overheat here. But this is the fan that is normally mounted in this position. This is the fan that when it turns on, will blow air into the firebox under the fire to create heat. What we have done is we have added a solenoid to the top of the fan here. And we've wired it into the fan so that when the fan is on, the solenoid energizes. The solenoid consists of a solenoid connected to a shaft, which is spring-loaded, going through the cover. And on the inside, we have a little hammer here that will actually allow the flipper flapper, which is this piece that I'm moving now, to close definitively by spring pressure. So what happens is when the fan turns on, the solenoid will energize. The little lever that we have here, it's full of creosote right now. As you can see, some of the problems that can be created um, inside a heat more stove and, and trying to get this flipper to completely seal. But when the fan is on, the solenoid is energized, it will allow the flipper to move and uh, let air be introduced into the firebox. And then when the correct temperature is achieved, the hydrostat will tell the fan to turn off. And at the same time, the solenoid will turn off. And through the spring tension on this shaft and this little lever, 
it will definitive, definitively shut the flipper flapper baffle. If this flipper flapper baffle remains open even just a little bit due to creosote or some other trash problem, then your fire is going to continue to heat. Uh, you're going to continue to heat the water until it achieves overheat, uh, it turns the power off the unit, and even could boil or steam out the water, cause a water eruption out the vent tube, something of that nature. So we're showing this so that if you're having this problem with your machine power turning off, your heat more power turning off, or your heat more going into overheat, instead of having to heat more, perhaps you can invent yourself something along this line that will definitively shut this baffle not allowing any air to come out. Once that is achieved, once you are, can be sure that that baffle is closed, then uh, you will successfully have, then have a overheat uh, no more. And that's what we've done here. We have a overheat no more stove due to the fact that we are definitively closing that baffle and not allowing any extraneous air to enter the firebox at the wrong time, causing over tamping to the combustion chamber, boiling the water out. I'll demonstrate here with the electricity power on so you can see how it will really work. The fan is on, the solenoid, the solenoid is energized. The solenoid releases, slamming shut the baffle. folks that's the demonstration of the new official uh, overheat no more and we wish you luck with your project